so here it says that what is the number of selections of 10 consecutive things out of 12 things in a circle so there is a circle there are 12 things in the circle like 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 and 12 so these are the 12 things which are in circle so now how many in how many ways we can select 10 consecutive things so we can select like this these are 10 consecutive things this is one possibility now if i start from 2 and end till 11 this is so another possibility right if i start from 3 and ending in 12 this is another possibility if i start from 4 ending in 1 this is in this way there are many possibilities so here if you check so first one i am starting from 1 to 10 i am removing 11 and 12 i will get one possibilities now in the second case if i remove 12 and 1 i will get another possibility so just uh, add like this 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 and 12 so there are total 12 uh, possibilities here again i will tell you one trick for that trick here so if you have uh, n number of things for example if you have n number of things in a circle then the number of selections of 10 11 12 whatever whatever number of consecutive things it will be n itself so here there are 12 things in a circle so answer will come 12 now if the same question is like 12 things in a row that means if it is like this 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 and 12 it is in a row then it is asked how uh, asked how many what is the number of selections of 10 consecutive things then it will not work like that because i can select like 1 to 10 this is 10 consecutive things i can select like this this is also 10 consecutive things and i can select from starting from 3 this is the only possibility since the earlier one it was a circle i can go more and more but here it is in a row i can stop here so 3 was the right answer if the uh, if the things were not in a circle if it was in a row so here also uh, there is a trick for that if you want to select m things m consecutive things out of n things in a row the answer is n minus m plus 1 so in this case it was 12 minus 10 plus 1 it is 3 so in this way you can tackle this question so if it's a circle it's n itself if it's a row it is n minus m plus 1 okay